Welcome back everyone to episode 12 of Rios del Cielo. Today I want to put in an airport. I was thinking this area here, but that's a little small. And I thought about uh, this sort of terrain is so hilly and mountainous that uh, you would uh, recover some uh, area, some land from the sea to build in an airport. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to to a man-made island type airport uh, get to it however I think I'm gonna put a uh, overleaf junction in here one of my uh, repaired versions of the default one so we just need to get rid of the junk that's there and flatten the land a bit and we'll be good to go Mm. Yeah, that whole area up by the road there is already pretty pretty flat. All right, move it mod. Uh, oh, import new clover leaf. Get it set right where I want it. Click the button. Click it. Yes, get over there! Great. That's almost perfect. Some trees there. I should turn the anarchy off. Always forget to turn the anarchy off. Slipped my mind. Okay. The sucker hooked up. Yeah, that was so easy. Now the, the train tracks hooked up before I forget. I'm gonna cross underneath there. Easily done. Okay. Now, I think we build our island. We need a little uh, land connection. Big old rectangle. Lots of water flooding all over the damn place. Major tsunami alert. I think I'll use a more decorative seawall here rather than just a key wall. Use the uh, seawall with railings. wall there. It always changes height. It's kind of annoying. Grab all the nodes there and set them all to our land height here. Yeah. Just like that. No problem. Everyone is stupid except me. And we'll let it water run off here. smooth out this transition here a little bit. Eight. Nothing like a 
blank slate to play with here. I want to put a road along the um, U-Wall on the outside, the, uh, an excess road. A lot of um, these places have them around the perimeter, so to speak. And I think I'm looking for a four lane, relatively small four lane. decorative type road easy industry um, easiest way to get that in there is just use the uh, follow the path tool here use the uh, you all as a guide only choose so many nodes before you have to Click. Kind of weird. But it allows you to add on to them. Why not just allow you to do it the whole way? First time. Okay. Okay, it's on the outside. Let's switch it to the other side. Period key. Great. And we'll. Scooch it right up against the wall there. Go on. What did you to scooch? The authentic frontier gibberish. A little more. There you go. Alright. See what that looks like. Up close. Oh, yeah. Looks great. All those uh, street lights on that road going around the edges there. This place will light up nicely at night. It'll be outlined very well. And there's lights on the uh, E wall too. Alright, let's see which model of airport I'm going to choose for this thing. The ultra modern one I used that before, and that's good for an even larger airport. This is not that large of an airport, so I'll, I'll take something that's a, a nice medium size. I haven't used this one before. Uh, let's see, where do I want to put it? Mm. Decisions, decisions. I think it needs to go a little further in. Got to have room there to hook those roads up. Sure, I'm lined up here. Yeah, that looks fairly straight, so. Pick a nice spot. Eight. Think of a good name for it. Probably stick with Ocean Side. So we are in the ocean. And now we can mark off the whole area here. When you do this, it levels out the land. If you're doing it um, in real life, it costs you money to do all that. Which is why I get in the habit of just uh, leveling it first. Uh, runways. Two runways. One in each direction. I think we'll be fine. That's all you'd be able to fit in there anyway. Link. All right, I'll just go up parallel, same node there. 
And same length. Okay, that's the same length. Go by the stripes on the end of the runway there. Okay. Thinking, thinking, assessing. Right, our uh, extensions here. Come out parallel with the uh, roadway. See, we have zonable area there too for uh, other items we can put in there, like commercial hotels, what have you, and the police stations and all that. I want to make sure I'm sort of coming out straight here. I am. There's no need to worry too much about that. You see, it doesn't really uh, snap there, but I can eyeball it. It'll be close enough. And I'll have the same length on both sides. Tower to center. Uh, doesn't really allow you to put it on the center, but move it mod will allow me to do whatever I want. Let's get it straightened out before we put it down. Good. Come along. Come along there. And we go dead center. I also believe uh, I used Bob on this previously, so it's got a rotating beacon on top. Okay, down our aircraft stands. A couple of the jumbo jet ones right there in the center. The queen of the skies. Uh, mediums. You know, a couple, a couple more big ones. Just two are probably not enough. But one on the side, and one on the other side. These are four jumbo stands, and I'll put in. Be able to get four mediums on each side. Yeah, I think that'll work out. It looks like I guessed the size of those wings pretty well. Now we put in the uh, small ones with the commuter airlines way down at the end. Great. This number of stands is really overkill, but I'm more concerned with looks at the moment. If uh, I was using money, this would cost us a fortune. The upkeep on all those aircraft stands. All right, taxiways. We just gotta figure out how to get everything running in the right direction here. A little adjustment on the spacing here. Yep, bring that one down a little bit. 
Eight. Move this side out a little bit. There we go. It's symmetrical. Symmetricality is everything. Make sure all the ins and outs are going the right direction. Now we need another taxiway going the opposite direction. Like a giant loop there. So everybody can get to where they need to go. It's a little close to our terminal building there. I'm going to straighten out this bottom taxiway for some reason. It is wonky. Rotate it a little bit. Back. Right there. Right there. Great. Now, if I think I can select all those things. Hmm. Still not even. Not even, even. I'll select all of that. Move it over and up. Get it more centered on the island there. And give us a little space between the uh, aircraft stands. We can go up almost up to the roadway there. Move it over so that it's more or less equal. so long get all these nodes moving it's very slow a little more that's it perfection hey it's already beginning to look pretty nice let's get the uh, all the stands connected I think Connect the stands together first. That's right, and it'll go straight up and cross over. Yep, that'll work. Either rinse and repeat on this side. Idiot. And coming in. Gotta come down there. Always, those nodes are always there. Doesn't matter, I can move them after the fact. Just do it. Do it. Worry about how it looks later. Hey, that'll work. Same thing on this side. Now you just tweak the nodes so everything straightens out. This one's almost okay. Let's see, that one looks good. One's close enough. Okay, I think we want to down some concrete on the inside space here. Fill out the apron. Eventually, we're gonna stick a bunch of hangers and stuff inside that. Those gaps, some uh, fuel 
refueling stations out on the edges. And uh, maybe some of the helicopter depots for the fire and police. Uh, down center here, I want to put a traffic circle in this little aisle of the bridge here. Give us something to attach our freeway to and our uh, access road and the uh, drop off ramps at the air in front of the airport. They're all one way. Uh, let's see, three lane highway. Okay, and we actually have some room there to play with. That'll do. Yeah, let's get rid of the nubs. Okay, now I'm gonna connect up. I don't know if I want that or not. Those aren't one-way roads going around the outside. They're two-way roads. So I think they're gonna have to come in from the side like that to really be working. They shouldn't be too busy. Get those. Is that gonna work? I'm just making it up to go along here. Put stuff in, see if it works. You can always change it. And yeah, connect it right to the intersection there. Now let's get in closer to what I want. I don't think I want it connecting with those uh, side roads, however. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Hmm. Yeah, don't want it connecting to those side roads. Put in a two-way two at. It's got to be one way. One way. There you go. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. That's close, closer to what I'm looking for here. Uh, let's see. How am I going to get that straightened out? Don't need that node. Okay, let's use the uh, reform node. Shape it exactly the way we want it. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's beginning to look good. Want that drop down a little bit. Build the slope into it. Gotta get rid of that pillar. It's, it's always going to be poking its head through there. See it's back again. So just delete it. We don't need it. Do the same on this side. And we should be golden here. Reform this node. Make it look like one on the other side. It's nice being able to independently adjust the height of those uh, endpoints on the node there. All right, that looks pretty nifty. That'll work just fine. And those are four lanes. Going into two lanes, they're all fine. 
I'll make those uh, highway sections, however. The trees are nice, but uh, we can put them in after the fact. Let's get this guy hooked in. Using the traditional Y split there. Yeah. I do believe that will work fine. We're just gonna do a little curving here. Don't need that node. shooting for right there. Nice swooping curve into that one. Great. Use our sloping tool here. From there to there. Great. There. 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 Pretty good. I can slope this node here. Make that a little less jarring. Yeah. That's good. And looks like we've got a node down here that needs to be sloped. Perfection. Do a little smoothing. And we'll be good to go here. I don't think I'll get around to detailing this in this episode. I think I'll do that. Concentrate on that for the next episode. So I'll have a little more infrastructure to put in here. Get the access road hooked in. That should not be a problem. As I said, there's probably not going to be a lot of traffic going that way, but uh, either way, usually there's not that much traffic on the airport. Uh, uh, drop off ramps either in this game for some reason um oh, i think oh some reason it's always because i put in uh metro nobody's gonna drive to the airport they can take the metro that always keeps traffic way way down in front of the airport Yeah. 
Yeah, I think all of that will work just swell. Words like, like swell. <laughs> Aha, and so's your old man. Don't need that node. Okay. That looks like something. Hmm. That's gonna bother me. The asymmetricality of that. So, rather than dwell on it, I am going to fix it. Move it out slightly so it matches the other side. I swear. It's a disease. You're insane, my child. Quite insane. Okay. Both sides are more or less matching. And let's get our heights adjusted. They always get screwed up. Look at that. When you move those nodes around. All of those need to be set to that height. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little off there. And since I moved it, we'll probably have to fix the node heights again. Alright. Yep. See? It went up. Why? I don't know. It'd be great if nodes just stayed at the level you put them at. Okay. Right, that looks good. It's fine. Yep. See, we got a little it happening over here. Oh, there's one more node I missed. Get rid of that dip. Okay. Satisfied now. And let's see, we can put in some more airport accoutrement. I spoke French. Uh, I think we want the uh, lounges. Oh. We need to put in the metro. We do have a connection there. And the airport has a terminal, has a metro connection. All right. This should not be difficult. Well, you say that. Tack it on the end of uh, the industrial route there. The uh, downside stop of this is right next to the uh, big hotel, so that's convenient. And of course, uh, that hookup tool always does it nice and straight. Doesn't 
bend with the land there, so I'm going to have to sink that down. Grab those nodes and drop them down. Right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Don't see any creases there. We got this one little section here that I missed. And we'll just set it to the same level. Eight. All we gotta do is make get that bump out of there, make it slope gentler so the trains don't get jammed up. And let's go from there. That's right, right there. Yeah, nice gentle slope. Looks great. Do the same thing over here. Nice. All right. Now we just need to grab the line and pull it out there. The purple line. It. Back here and add another stop in. The return side stop. Excellent. Speed it up, see if we need trains going through there. Yep. Train's on its way to the airport. I'm gonna have to add some more vehicles here. The airport traffic will be much heavier than the industry traffic. I'll put four more in there. Now, services and garbage. I think we'll have to put a couple of those down. They don't care, cover much space. The little clinic, what, what the heck? Fire department. <laughs> Please, look at that. That, that one police thing I put down must be seriously overpowered. Covers almost the entire city. Alright, and now... Lounges. They all add to the attractiveness of the airport. I'm not worried about too much. I'm going to use the move it mod change the colors on those uh, so they're all the same I, I want that blue goes with the rest of the, the building but slightly darker
Yeah, looks like an airport. Any planes coming in here? Ew, there we go. Make sure the doesn't have any trouble getting where it needs to go. Doesn't look like there'll be any trouble. Oh, another one coming in from the other direction. Oh, oh my god. Like mosquitoes here. I think we're open for business here. All right. Well, I think that'll be it for today. As always, thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again tomorrow.